I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. The Bible says, teach us to number our days aright and to apply our hearts to wisdom. Now, I became very conscious of my age from the age of 40. I became very conscious of how I appropriate my time. I became very conscious of how much value I use my time to create and how much influence I use my time to create. I also look back at those saints who have departed and I look at how much time they had and the degree of impact they made globally. And sometimes I readjust my lifestyle <coughs> excuse me, in such a way to become more productive. And you must have that mindset. If not, you will waste this one life that you have. You will mismanage it doing frivolities. In fact, Parkinson's law of frivolities will come to play that you will spend most of your time doing frivolous things and less of your time doing things that will produce tangible results. And Pareto principle will also come in that 80% of the time you will spend will produce only 20% of the results in your life, while 20% of the time you will spend will produce 80%. That's if you are even productive. So... As you get older, start attaching value to your time. This morning I woke up and I did my morning breakfast to my WhatsApp mentorship group. I taught them and I sent the message and at least 1,000, about 1,600 to 1,700 people are in that WhatsApp group and they saw that message. The next thing I did was to do a consultation for a patient and that took quite some time. But thank God it will help her solve the health challenge that she had, that she had been going from hospital to hospital taking medications because of one string of ignorance on the part of the laboratory technologies and on themselves. So. But I want to go back to yesterday. Yesterday, I did some videos. And one of the videos had, one of the shots had 1,300 views. Another had 7,700 views. And I have had calls from the United States, from the UK, within Nigeria, from professors, from all kinds of people. Now, another video garnered 3,800 3, views from different parts of the world and one other uh, video got 1,700 views and in seven days I've had 164,000 views in seven days now let's take these views to be people who listen to my message Okay, on Wednesday, I shared a message on drug abuse on radio and a potential audience of about 6 million people listened to it. So, I am effectively using my life and I can even use it more. Tomorrow, I will do an online seminar for those who could not attend the last one that I did that 200 people paid for. How effectively are you using your life? How effectively are you using your time? What revenue does your time spent generate? What influence does the time you spend generate? What legacy will the time you have spent generate? When you reach a certain age bracket, 
I told you at 40, 40 at 40, I was working like a madman because I knew I needed to work hard to build the foundation for what I will enjoy from 60 upwards. And so, how are you managing your time? How are you spending it? Frivolities with stupid people. You go to a nightclub and a, a high priest who has not lived his life well will be the one who is talking to you. In fact, this is a country where those who are supposed to be taught are the ones teaching people, right from church to politics to the, the, the lounge you go to to spend your money. How are you using your time? I've garnered um, 38,482 subscribers. If I was running a church, I wouldn't have had that kind of membership. Somebody sent me a message from the UK that he has not heard from me today. He's waiting for my video. So how are you using your time? Please, manage your time well. Don't get old and you start regretting. The best time is now. Use every minute well because there is no time, according to George Bush Sr. Time is short. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Send me a message on plus 234-7052-136763 on WhatsApp. God bless you.